All right, guys, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the first project out of my shop. This is a 1968 Chevy C10. Uh, this truck was originally a 396 big block, half ton HD long bed. Um, when I got it, it had been sitting since 1994. Um, so it was in pretty, uh, pretty rough shape. So the first things that I did uh, was break it all down right down to the bare frame. And I decided to use a kit that comes from Brothers Trucks to shorten up the frame uh, to convert it from a long bed to a short bed. So I did that. And as you can see, there's a brand new short bed box that came from LMC Trucks. And I did a 3M bed liner and a 3M uh, spray bed liner which is really nice. Uh, it's just kind of a standard thing, nothing fancy there. Uh, the truck has a five inch drop in the front and a five inch drop in the rear. So it's got a really nice stance. These are 18 inch wheels. Uh, you could probably fit 19s or 20s in there, but then you lose a little bit of uh, uh, ride quality because of the uh, low profile tires that would have to be on those wheels. So I went with the 18s. I like the way it looks. Um, the cab is original to this truck. Uh, it needed some repairs done to the floor and the rocker panels, but other than that, it was in decent shape. Uh, the front grille is actually original to the truck as well. The inserts are new, but the grille itself is original. Um, and as far as body panels go, that's about the only original things left on this truck. The doors were bad, the fenders were bad, uh, the hood actually was in decent shape, but the person that had, uh, that had it previously uh, cut a big hole in the hood to put a blower or something on it. I'm not sure what they were doing, but uh, I couldn't uh, uh, keep that as well. The, uh, the cowl here, which is right where the windshield wipers come out, that's also original um, to the truck. But everything else, uh, all the new body panels and doors and things, the hood came from LMC trucks. They were great. They, they have pretty much everything you can imagine for these trucks. And this is a satin black vinyl wrap uh, from Isaac over at Spinal Wraps. He did a fantastic job. Um, uh, putting a vinyl wrap on these trucks is difficult because of all the crevices and whoop de doos and all different shapes and things. And uh, he, he, did a, he did a fantastic job on an otherwise uh, difficult job. And then I went with a gloss black for the front and rear bumper, the grill inserts, and the Chevy bow tie that's on the front. And now that Chevy bow tie is actually original to this truck as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, these trucks would have had a triangular vent window in the door that you push out uh, to get some extra air as you're driving. Um, they look kind of old, old fashioned. They don't seal very well. They're hard to rebuild. And Brothers Trucks has a one piece uh, glass kit that I ended up going with that cleans up the look of the truck, makes it look a little bit more modern. Um, and it really does look great without that uh, uh, vent window. The rear window and the windshield are flush mount glass from Fessler. Now these trucks would have had windshields and rear glass that would have been encased in a thick rubber grommet. And then that would have had to be pushed into the uh, pinch weld that's in the window openings. Um, these do not have that. They are glued in just like a modern window would be. They look a lot nicer. It's a lot easier to install, a lot uh, uh, cleaner look and uh i really like it so that's that's definitely a upgrade so here's the back of the truck i went with the tailgate that says chevrolet they do have ones that are just plain and uh i really didn't want to go that route i like this a lot better uh you can see the dual exhaust kind of poking out there and i come around here these trucks would have had a 
fuel tank in the cab behind the seats, which I deleted and installed a tank under the bed. You can see the gas cap right there. It's a really nice unit from uh, Boyd Welding that make great tanks. It's got an aeromotive uh, fuel pump installed in it and it works great. So under the hood, we will start with the hood. Um, I did the kind of standard under hood insulation. There's actually insulation under this uh, plastic cover. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna do two things. It's, it's gonna keep the heat from affecting either the vinyl wrap or whatever paint you'd have on the hood. And um, uh, it's gonna keep the uh, truck a little bit more quiet because with this engine, it's pretty loud. This is a 5.3 LS that was fully rebuilt by Danny over at Hill Country Performance. He did a great job. Engine's badass. This truck is very fast and uh, upgraded to power brakes. And a you can see there's some air conditioning lines that I still have to make, but there's a vintage air system in this as well. And a Holley mid-mount system on the front of the engine, which basically takes all of your engine accessories, moves them up and out from the engine, um, a much more compact with a uh, serpentine belt. And it basically hangs off of the water pump mount. Um, and the water pump itself is a pump that can come in and out without having to disassemble everything. So it's really a nice uh, system. And I went with a aluminum radiator from Summit with dual fans, cools great. And we have some nice covers here that kind of clean up the look of underneath the hood. This paint under the hood is actually a underhood black from Eastwood. Uh, Eastwood makes some really nice uh, uh, paints that you would not normally even know exist. Um, and they have this underhood paint, which is really, really nice. It kind of matches everything. Uh, perfectly. Power steering gearbox is a quick ratio unit from CPP. I don't know if you can see that. It says C CPP right there. All new steering components. Everything up into the uh, cab. So this 5.3 LS is topped with all Holly Sniper EFI. So Holly Sniper intake manifold, which is kind of like a high rise version 92 millimeter throttle body uh fuel rail and injectors and this is all programmed from a holly terminator x ecu uh and all of their uh wiring harnesses so it's it's uh, a great system and uh very easy to tune uh you do not need to be a professional tuner to tune this you can tune it all right from their little uh handheld um uh, touchscreen and uh, it works great and so if, if you change components if you change injectors if you if you you know uh, change if you do a different camshaft if you do something like that then uh, you can just plug it into your ECU and tell it what you changed and it will it will uh, program it so the inside of the truck is kind of standard C10 uh, this truck originally had a um, bench seat that was in really bad shape. So I got rid of that and I got these buckets from TMI. They make really nice automotive seats and these fit right in here perfectly. I did not do a center console. Um, there are probably 20 different types that you can get. Um, so I'm gonna let the purchaser pick out one and I'll have it installed before they, uh, before they pick it up. Of course, the wood steering wheel is an awesome touch. I love that. And there's plastic, obviously protecting the carpet right now, but it is a thicker pile uh, carpet from LMC Trucks that uh, that uh, is really, really um, uh, much more uh, luxurious than what would have been in this car. You can see Rockford Fosgate speakers in the front. In the kick panels, that's all custom work that I did. And there are six by nines behind the seats. Um, Kenwood stereo right there. Just a, kind of a normal um, uh, Bluetooth unit with uh, USB 
and it also has Alexa. So if you like talking to Alexa at home, you can talk to her in your uh, C10 as well. Uh, vintage air heater controls right there for heater and for the air conditioning. Uh, I did a low car um, shifter. This is actually a transmission case mounted shifter. This is not mounted to the floor. It's actually mounted right to the uh, transmission, which is one of the best designs I was able to find. So um, the accelerator pedal and the uh, brake pedal are from low car. And the instrument cluster is actually a blank unit you can get from Muncie and then you uh, customize it however you need to. So this was actually uh, totally blank and I customized it to fit the Holly Pro Dash touchscreen, the fuel gauge and the wiper switch and the headlight switch. And of course you have your vents on the sides and in the middle for your air conditioning. Um, quick little preview of the Holly Pro Dash although I'm gonna do its own video on that this is so cool all bunch of different screens you can choose from different things but again I'll, I will go over that um, uh, separately now these trucks had a build sheet sticker inside the glove box door and I was able to salvage the original glove box door uh, so the original build sheet sticker is still there for this truck I know it's a little faded but you can read all the numbers and the uh, the VIN number and everything that's really cool to have a lot of uh, uh, collectors are going to be happy to see something like that and um, that's about it for the interior I don't think I missed anything uh, the steering columns from CPP and it is a tilt steering column. So that's a nice little touch too. So talking about suspension, brakes, exhaust, uh, we'll start from the front. Got the truck up on the lift, obviously. Uh, front sway bar from CPP. And you can see that all of the front suspension, springs, control arms uh, are from CPP. All tubular, brand new as well as the sway bar. All the steering components, tie rod ends, drag link, steering box, everything is brand new. See under there is the 5.3 LS. Headed down a little bit. And, the, and this front suspension, as I said, is a five inch drop. Oh, and all front disc brakes, actually four, di uh, four wheel disc all the way around. This truck originally was a four-wheel drum brake truck. Had no idea how they were trying to stop that with drum brakes, but uh, four-wheel disc, all again from CPP, spindles and everything. Going back to the exhaust, uh, the exhaust is all from Hooker, uh, which is now owned by Holly, so you can get it all from Holly's website. These are Hooker Black Heart headers, inch and seven-eighth pipes, coming down into a three inch collector on both sides. Um, and it's a three inch exhaust, com uh, completely dual all the way to the exits. And it sounds awesome. I'll do a video of the exhaust sound as well. Uh, all the fuel lines and wiring are in these nice wiring looms. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's there inside the frame rail. Something important that I wanted to make sure everyone saw, this tucked up into the frame rail, this is a Holly fuel filter slash regulator. So the uh, dash six and line comes into this from the fuel tank and filters the fuel and at the same time um, regulates the pressure that the fuel rails need. So which is around 60 PSI. I think it's running at about 61 right now. So that's a, that's a really nice uh, component. You can take it apart, clean out the filter, um, and it works great. These trailing arms, as you can see, the rear suspension arms are from Performance Online, brand new, all the way back to the rear suspension. Oh, here's the hooker mufflers. 
as you can see one on each side there rear suspension again a five inch drop all the springs shocks everything from cpp the disc brakes in the back are there as you can see um and the rear end so the rear end case is original to this truck you can see it says gm right there that's original to this truck everything else within the case is brand new so all the seals have been replaced the axles are new the gears are new and it, and it does have a posi so you can do two wheel burnouts in this very very easily um and uh it's a three 50 gear so it's a kind of a standard street gear it's good for the street it's going to cruise on the highway pretty well and there is a rear sway bar from cpp back here as well as you can see that here is the all aluminum fuel tank from boyd welding again under the bed aeromotive fuel pump inside fuel sender everything is uh within the tank. The tank does have a drain right there if you ever needed to do that. And hooker black heart cross member. You see the drive shafts going through there. This truck originally had a two piece drive shaft with a carrier bearing. Um, did not need to, to do that because we shortened it up and was able to get this uh, drive shaft from Southwest Speed uh, exactly to the uh, measurements that uh, we needed. So this cross member here is Hooker Blackheart for the trailing arms to uh, connect to and the exhaust to flow through. So the exhaust goes through the, this cross member as opposed to having to go underneath it. Designed specifically. So if you go to Holly, I mean Holly pretty much makes everything you would need to do any of these things. Because Holly now owns Earls, they own Hooker, they own all kinds of other things too. So all the brake lines brand new from Earl's, Earl's line, you can kind of see it right there, all the way to the front. Front brakes, big calipers in the front. Again, all suspension from CPP. So I'd like to thank everyone for following this build. Uh, this was a lot of work, a lot of time, but thoroughly enjoyed it. I learned a lot um, and I'm very excited to get this out into the public for everyone to see. Uh, this vehicle is for sale. Um, it's gonna be on eBay. It's gonna be on some other uh, classic car sales websites. Um, I will try to put the links to those in the description. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please leave comments um, and let me know if you have questions or what you think. And uh, if anyone is interested in purchasing this vehicle, please let me know. Um, and uh, again, thank you so much for following it. It was a lot of fun and uh, I'm very glad it's over and I'm ready to get on to the next one. So again, thank you.